Locate your fuel filter, green arrow, under the rear of the car just to the right side of where the drive shaft meets the differential. Remove the 17mm fitting that is at the back of the fuel filter. You will probably have to put a 19mm wrench on the filter. They provide a hex head on the filter so you can hold it still with a wrench while loosening the lines. Have a drain pan ready to catch the fuel that is going to leak out. As always, when working around fuel, you should be working in a well-ventilated area, be wearing gloves and eye protection, have a fire extinguisher handy, and know how to use it. Never have an ignition source around when opening fuel lines. Things like an incandescent shop light is not a good idea, and obviously you should not be smoking. After the line is loose, allow time for the fuel to drain so it does not drip on you. While you still have the 19mm wrench on the back end of the fuel filter, green arrow, loosen the banjo bolt, 17mm and indicated by the yellow arrow, at the front of the fuel filter. Thread out the banjo bolt by hand and discard the copper washer, indicated by the green arrow you will have to replace the copper crush sealing washers. This picture illustrates the fuel filter assembly looking up underneath it. You do not have to remove it, but only loosen the two Phillips head fasteners, green arrows, that clamp the bracket onto the filter. It is very possible these screws will break when you take them off. Try applying some penetrating oil to the fasteners behind these screws before attempting to remove. Otherwise, you will have to drill out broken fasteners. With the filter loose in the bracket, move it towards the back of the car in the direction of the blue arrow. You can use a 19mm wrench on the hex head of the filter to twist it back and forth as you slide it out. Don't forget, on the front of the fuel filter, there is another copper sealing washer that you will have to replace at the rear of the filter, there will be an adapter, as indicated by the green arrow. You will have to remove it from the old filter and install it on the new one. Remove the 17mm adapter with a wrench while holding the 19mm hex head on the fuel filter. You can do this with the filter removed, but it helps to hold it still while the filter is still in the mounting bracket. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. After everything is installed with new crush washers, turn on the key and crank the car before dropping it off the jack stands and make sure there are no leaks. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.